Some of you may be wondering if Jesus was real and the Bible was telling the truth, then there should be some of this power left laying around that Lord Jesus had before he went back to heaven after the resurrection. You know, um, in the Bible he calls it Luke 10 19 power. If Jesus was real and the Bible was true, there should be some of this laying around somewhere. Brothers and sisters in Christ, there is. Your left hand is your healing hand. Your right hand is your power hand. When you extend your hands like this to pray, you're sending your signal with your healing hand. You're sending your signal up to the kingdom of God. And with your right hand, you're receiving the signal from the kingdom of God. And you are now a Wi-Fi router for the signal and frequency of the kingdom of God. Your left hand is your healing hand. Your right hand is your power hand. If you're gonna pull somebody by the wheelchair, use your right hand. But make sure you hear from the Lord first. That's not something you can guess about. You have to audibly hear his voice or be led directly by him or the Holy Spirit. But you want to use your right hand if you do so. When you get ready to do a healing or you get ready to cast out a devil, the first thing you want to do is raise your hands high. High as you can get them. And then you want to say, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. When you do that, you bring the kingdom of heaven to earth. You bring heaven to earth when you do that. And so before you do anything prophetic, before you do anything spiritual, you wanna raise both of your hands high and say, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Your hands are in the air. You're generating the signal and frequency of the kingdom of God high on a high level. Your antennas are high. 
So you're generating the signal of the kingdom, the signal and frequency of the kingdom of God on a high level. And so when you get ready to lay hands on somebody, you put your left hand on the person that you are getting ready to heal. This is the hand that your signal comes out. And then you raise your right hand high. So you're receiving heaven's signal and the power is being activated and flowing through you and coming out your left hand because your output comes out your left hand. Your left hand is your healing hand. Your right hand is your power hand. So your output is coming out your left hand and your input is coming in in your right hand. So you're receiving heaven's signal and you're sending out heaven's signal through your body. You're being used as a router by the kingdom of God. You're being used as a router by the kingdom of God for the King Lord Jesus to heal someone. This is what it means to be a Christian. Every Christian in the world is supposed to be doing this. If you are baptized in the name of Jesus, you're supposed to be doing this. If you are have asked Jesus to be Lord of your life, you are supposed to be doing this. If you have confessed Jesus as Lord, you are supposed to be doing this. The thing is, most Christians don't know that you're supposed to be doing this, but according to the scripture, According to Mark chapter 16, verses 15 through 18, if you believe that Jesus was born of a virgin and died on the cross and was resurrected on the third day and is right now in heaven sitting on the right hand of God and because of this you are saved. If you believe that, if you have asked this same Jesus to be the Lord of your life, if you have confessed that, if you have been baptized in Jesus' name, then you that's right. You have the responsibility of healing the sick, according to what the Lord King Master Jesus said in Mark 16, 15 through 18. He also said it in Matthew chapter 10, verses 7 through 8. In John chapter 14, verse 12, he calls this the works. And he says that, People who believe in him will be doing this when the rapture takes place. This will be going on all the way up until the time that he comes and removes the Holy Spirit from the earth. During the first Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 16 rapture, as many have discussed. And so, if this sounds a little bit crazy to you, that's good because when you really give your life to God, it brings you into a position where you are not like everybody else. That's why we're called... That's why we're chosen. That's why we're set apart. In 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. In 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9, it says, But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people belonging to God, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Most people stop there, but let's see what 10 says. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 10. Once you were not a people, but now you are the people of God. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. So according to 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9, you are a chosen people. This is the... This is the New International Version. This just so happens to be the Bible that I grabbed. I usually don't mess with the NIV, but this is the one that I grabbed for this time. Every version of the Bible has a little bit different wording. And according to this version, you are the chosen generation. Hallelujah. You are the chosen people. And because you are the chosen people, it is your job, chosen person, to do the works as prescribed by Lord Jesus in John chapter 14, verse 12. It's your job chosen person to heal the sick. It's your job to cast out devils. Now, 